What we're doing on this project has direct impact on our nation's capability to protect itself from nuclear threats. Success here means a stronger America tomorrow. That's really cool. Dense Plasma Focus is a particular type of pulse power machine. And what it does is it produces very, very short bursts of radiation. And radiation can take many different forms. In particular, what we're interested in with this case is neutron radiation. The real thrust of this is for um, a mission known as Defense Nuclear Non-Proliferation. But what that really gets down to is keeping nuclear material from going places that we don't want it to go. This isn't an effort to protect the United States of America. It's not to develop our weapon systems. It's not to enhance our weapon systems. It's to understand if there is a nuclear threat, and by that I mean some kind of weapon, a dirty bomb, a full-scale nuclear weapon, is there something like that present? Or is there the material that can be used to build a system like that present? And this is important because the, the loss of nuclear material or transport of this type of material, it's something that we need to keep tabs on as a country because it's in our best interest to understand and limit how much of that is available to other parties. Anyone who might want to do harm to the United States or our allies, we need to know if that material is being transported. And certainly, if it's being transported into our country, that's perhaps the biggest thing we need to know. Site-Directed Research and Development Program, SDRD. In that program, our mission is to miniaturize a system like this, such that it can be transported to areas that are not conducive to large-scale pulse power systems. And an example of this kind of setting would be an emergency response scenario, combat, or uh, other urban environments, areas where you can't just wheel in something like this. The reason we want to make a small DPF was because you can't take a machine like this everywhere. But there are some places where you do want the functionality of dense plasma focus. I want short pulses of neutron radiation, but I'm in a place where I'm not going to fit a machine like this. It's just not practical. So it's to answer those kinds of applications. If you compare it pound for pound, we get the same number of neutrons as this machine. This weighs about 25,000 pounds, and our system weighs about 50 pounds. So you get about the same number of output per pound. The thing is, you get it anywhere you want. What we've demonstrated is that this is a viable path forward, not just for scientific research and dense plasma focus uh, advancement for the community, but also as a legitimate strategy for our nation's security. When you have other sensors around an object that you're investigating, say a cargo container, that you don't know what's inside of it, but perhaps there might be something of interest, you can expose that cargo container to a neutron field. And if there is something comprised of nuclear material, it will emanate in a way that is unnatural for traditional or conventional materials. And by sensing that fingerprint that it produces, we can very confidently determine not only that there is something of interest in that container, but what it's made out of, and even how big it is, where it is, and its potential configuration. There's a lot we can learn about inspecting uh, materials or objects of unknown composition using neutron fields. This technology allows us to protect the United States by determining if nuclear weapons or nuclear weapons components are entering our borders.